Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Boom. up everybody what's going on my name is parker Ament. my name is danny ferrari and we are excellent sound and our dancing skills have gotten better through quarantine <laughs> yes dude we are back welcome back everybody our dance skills got crazy in our bedrooms we didn't even like i didn't even in our practice dining rooms no not at all dude. no we like, were trying to we, we just had to get over the lag yeah. of the internet <laughs> yeah <laughs> We just know how to dance. Well, speaking of which, if you didn't know, we're on Twitch, by the way. We forgot to mention that. Yes, go follow us on Twitch. We're going to be doing some, like, surprise streams. We're a lot gonna more be doing... live stream stuff. Yeah, we do a lot of giveaways on Twitch. But we love YouTube, too. We love so YouTube. So we're going to be doing some giveaways. So Let's do it. If you guys like what you see, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment. And while you're at it, whoever... Give whoever leaves the best comment, the whoever best. gets the most popular comment, we're giving you guys a free pack. We're trying something new. We, we're we're trying to do some giveaways and uh, do something special for you guys. Yeah, it could be a pack like uh, Cartel Volume Two. It the could be not the bundle, but or one. Yeah, we're, we also have another bundle, Rhythm Riot One yeah, and Two, which we don't have a slide for, but, but those are on instant sale. classics for all you dubstep lovers. And if you don't win, you can always buy it. Right? Cause yeah, man. This bundle is on sale right now for 100 bucks for Cartel 1 and 2, and the Rhythm Riot's on sale for 75 bucks right now. So this is a bundle bundle apocalypse. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, as you guys know, we do a lot of tutorials on this channel, um, and I like racks. Do you like racks? <laughs> Not as much as you. <laughs> I, I love racks. Love racks. Ableton racks, guys. Big racks. All right? Big racks. <laughs> Juicy Ableton racks. All right, so uh, we wanted to show you guys this crazy rack that we made for this slushy remake. Uh, so originally we were gonna like show you guys the growls and stuff, but we've been doing a lot of growls, doing a lot of serum tutorials. Um, so we want to do something a little different for you guys. Yeah, you won't believe what you can do with this. With this, yeah, this you rack. guys will not believe it. it's like insane, and a lot of people are doing some crazy like audio manipulation these days. So uh, we're we're doing it too. Yeah. So uh, this is what we created from uh, from an actual vocal chop. So check this out. So believe it or not, these are just little vocal cuts. So I'm going to show you guys what this sounds like before. So huge, huge difference. It sounds like that, like like Twitter monkey. You know that yeah. dude that's like fucking. Um, Especially for this like like slushy like this track specifically is like it sounds like it's clipping on purpose, but it's like it has this cool texture to it, and I think that's yeah. what the rack really does and brings out in a lot of cool vocal stuff. Yeah, and I've noticed that he's been doing a lot of like exaggerated fucking like annoying like just yeah. pushing his sound like further yeah. and further, which is really cool. But uh, but yeah, so so we're gonna get right into this. We're gonna kind of break down what's going on over here, um, and we made some really nice macros for you guys um, to put onto your vocals. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So I got this down here um, pulled up. Oh, and we got it for, I don't know if you mentioned this, but we got it for free in the download description right now. So if you want to go grab it, feel yes. free to download it for Ableton users. Yes, we guys, obviously Sorry, we guys. want you guys to stay and uh, check out how we made it and how you guys can use it. But if you guys don't care, just download just, it and leave. Yeah, just That's download it and leave. Leave a comment so that you can try to at least support us. We won't us. be mad. I will, I will be mad. Danny will be But you will pissed. leave without learning shit. Yes. Grow. This grow. Is, this is the time learn. to fucking grow your producer chat. Brick by brick, exactly. motherfuckers. So uh, let's get into it. So this, we're going to start with this, and I'm going to show you some other crazy stuff too. So um, this is with no processing. So first off, we're cutting the lows. We're putting a little EQ8 on here, just cutting all that dirty stuff because we're going to be adding a lot of craziness. So next up, we're going to use uh, a little little reverb, just like a little room reverb so it sounds like we're in a room. Yeah, it just kind of brings out the space of it a little bit, I noticed. Yeah, if you guys aren't really wearing short. headphones, it's a little hard to, to hear, but all of these little minor things in the beginning make a big deal at the end. Mm -hmm. 
So next after this is uh, an overdrive. Now this is gonna really do a lot. So 51% on the drive and it's gonna be towards the higher end and the mids right here. Um, and then after this, we're yeah, adding- Yeah, we added a macro for that one too, for on the yeah, very so first macro, is, so you can is, mess with it if you want. Yeah, this is like the minor overdrive. Um, and then the second overdrive right here um, is gonna be the heavier one. So uh, if you guys move this, uh, we kind of dialed it in like right here to where yeah. we liked it. Um, and then next up after this is an erosion in the highs at four kilohertz. And, uh, and then after that, we have a really nice tonal delay. This is a sick rack. Yeah, this is this is you really could say crazy. that is your own rack right there. Yeah, just this. So we use this a lot. Um, and the really cool thing about the tonal delay after the erosion is a lot of this weird tonal stuff is coming from this erosion notch right mm -hmm. over here. So that's really nice. Um, and then after that, we have the famous Yo Man. Yo Man. So uh, the really cool thing about Yo Man is it's like, it's an, just an insane chorus. Um, and we actually added a macro for the feedback and the dry wet right here. So you can get really crazy with that, which is really fun. Um, and then after this is another favorite of ours is the vocoder. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if a lot of you guys use this on just audio samples, but it's really, really awesome using the modulator setting. <laughs> and messing with the formants yeah. over here. Um, another really cool thing that you can do with the vocoder is this bands right here. So the more bands that you add, uh, the more detail it'll give you. Um, so a little nugga nod right there Ooh, for you guys. smoke that shit, bro. Ooh, smoke what are you that smoking? Shit. That sounds great. Let me get great. a little fucking. You gonna take a little, let me clear it for you. I got you, bro. Oh, smoke that smoke fucking that nod, nod right bro. there. Vocoder nodge. Yeah, and you know what? I, I, I want to go back in, into my Ableton and save the default range for vocoder for 18 hertz over 20 because I feel like that's a big thing that probably people don't really realize is that you got to mess with that range to get it to sound really good because most of the time it sounds like fucking ass. And like, yeah, it what is the be, range of the default? I it's think like it has to do like with super the, small or mid range. It's really small, yeah, and it sounds like ass. Yeah, <laughs> you want it. You want it this like usually you want your vocoder to be very as detailed as you want because yeah. you want like all of those like mouthy sounds when you're like triggering the chord thing. Right. Um, but this is sound design. You, there's no fucking rules. You guys right. can do whatever you want. Um, and then after after the vocoder, we have a really nice tonal delay right here again. Um, and then this is going to exaggerate the vocoder. This is, that's before. Kind of cleans it up a bit, too. Yeah. You know what I did realize, too, um, just now is, like, this is kind of putting it back in the phase after yeah. taking it out of yeah. phase with the first tonal delay. Weird. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and then after that, we have another overdrive. This one's gonna be in the lower range. Really out of control, which is really <laughs> fucking nice and crunchy like a guitar. Uh, and then after that is an OTT. Oh, we need that EQ soon. <laughs> I know, I know. So as you guys guessed it, boom, EQ. And even you guys can, this is this is like a lot of overdrive right here. So you guys can blend this into taste, mm -hmm. um, which is really nice. And then we're taking, we're t cutting the lows again after the OTT, because that's always bringing back the lows. And then we're cutting uh, some of these like kind of harsh flavors on the top. Um, and then uh, another cool trick that me and Danny use a lot is this utility with the width right here. Um, we didn't really do anything on this example right here, but you guys can be moving the width around. I love it more that mono. Knob. Like this is like the new, the new hotness, the new Ableton hotness. I feel like it's, it's, I mean, it's not good if you go too wide, like it's not going to do great on chords, but it's really good if you want to take a bass and just kind of make it a little bit wider or a little bit thinner, like, yeah. or sorry, not thinner, but. I guess yeah, like it's kind mono. of like it's kind of like bass roundup when you like yeah. turn the the output of it to dual. 
And I feel like um, another thing that's like really important that I notice, uh, at least in a lot of the lessons that we get, and shout out to if you guys want lessons, we do offer lessons and we do Zoom and we do all that stuff. It's on our website. Me and Parker both or individual and, of course, Morgan from FOMO. Uh, those, all of us are available for lessons. But what I notice is a lot of people are automating their volumes, right? Mm -hmm. So what's a great trick is to have a utility um, on your channel somewhere. So if you do want to automate it, even if it's not doing anything, have the utility there. It's yeah. it's utility for the name is utility for a reason because it's it's yeah. it's so utilizing or useful, I should say. Yeah, and then that saves you like a good thirty seconds of oh, typing in U T I L and then dragging it on. Yeah. Like it's just there. So it's really nice to have that in your racks too. Because people are always automating their faders, and what they don't realize is that they're 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 getting excited. They get they go six to midnight. They automate their fader. Yeah immediately <laughs> and then by the time we're trying to help them mix their stuff or they're trying to mix their own stuff they have to delete all the automation drag that shit up yeah like, and you can't adjust much. the volume because it just keeps automating it back to where it's supposed to be yeah. from what you did so stop automating your goddamn volume yeah, use a stay filter organized utility. man knock stay that organized. shit off no and then speaking of of automating volumes yeah get right, into it right after utility we got a volume shaper um, so there's a ton of different ways that you guys can do this. There's LFO tool. There's, um, what's the volume shaper. Yeah. Vol uh, yeah. Kick, I kick guess start. volume shaper by, by the cable guys, kickstart. Um, there's a bunch of other ways that you can do this, but this is a really cool way in just Ableton default. Um, so to get this really nice rhythm over here, we're automating this chain volume, uh, right over here. Um, and then we are also automating the reverb to go up and down um, on every opposite side over here, which is really cool. Um, and then after this volume shaper, um, we're adding a, a nice reverb. And that's what we're, re we're uh, automating up and down and giving it some space, but not too much because then it's just going to be a muddy reverb mm -hmm. mess after that. Uh, and then just for some mixed stuff that we did, uh, we just threw an EQ right after. Just cut, cut the lows after all of this crazy stuff yeah. going on. You could pull out some harsh frequencies if you wanted to, but it sound like it sounds a little harsh right now. But be that's because it's not being played in the mix. In the mix, it kind of sits really nicely because the track itself is a very, very harshly yeah. mixed. <laughs> everything track. is so crunchy. There's overdrive on yeah. everything. Everything's peaking or seemingly peaking. Like it's insane. But uh, it does sound good. So uh, that is the rack. That's what makes everything up. We got reverb over here. We got some really awesome. If you guys want more tonal delay, you guys can get crazy with that. Um, but just let me show you guys. Um, I'm going to pull Show in. how to utilize that I'm gonna shit, bro. I'm going to show you guys how to utilize this. So, so check it out. So we have uh, a really cool pack that we did a really long time ago with our boy Cashmere. One of the uh, first ones. If you're an yeah, OG, of, you know about it. Exactly. So um, there's a bunch of really cool one shots in here. Ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, bang, boom. Um, and I'm just gonna drag some some of these in and kind of show you what this does um, with all these effects on it. So so check this out. <laughs> and that's with no automation, you guys. So if mm -hmm. we add the same automation that we had on the, the other vocals, check this out. Yeah, that's sick. And you can, you can even chop this up. This is j literally just a vocal, guys. So this is like, this could be a drop sound. Like this could be your main drop sound. If you want to That's it. Try pitching it up. I'm kind of curious if you pitched it up like 24 semitones. Oh, all In complex, them. pro. 24. <laughs> yeah, like that could it. be like the, the B part. Yeah, that could be. This could be like a really sick like trap or like festival trap kind yeah. of drop. Um, so this, this is really cool. Um, another thing that you can do. So this one is like, this one's like a, a nice choppy sound. Um, you can get an, uh, like a nice Dang. sustainy <laughs> sound. And I'm just using vocals. Cause like, this is a fucking, this is a vocal chop effects, you know, video for you guys, but you guys can use anything like sustainy like this. 
Let's try this. Let's try it. Or this one. That that's kind of there's like some really good movement in there. Let's try. I'll put this like right here. I'll drag this like. <laughs> he made some crazy samples in this yeah. one shot here. <laughs> And is, that, is the volume shaper still automated on there? Is yeah, that so, what? Yeah, like so that's really, really that, fun. I keep that set, that same rhythm, uh, but you guys can mess with this. Like, let's let's just let's have this on loop, and we'll we'll move some of the macros through that. So like the tonal delays are doing really loud. So like this rack is fucking insane, yeah, you guys. Man. Like like I was saying before, like I love racks. Danny loves racks. We know that you guys love racks, especially Ableton racks. So if you're an FL, sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You can make your own rack. That might yeah, be. Yeah, I don't even know what you guys call racks in that world. They call them uh, it, FL rack. FL rack, or they're, they're not as beautiful. Little fruities. They're not a, yeah, little juicy fru fruits. <laughs> little fruities. They call them juicy fruits. <laughs> juicy FL <laughs> juicy fruits. Go juicy fruits. That'd yeah. be sick. Go use your little juicy fruits in <laughs> FL. Um, but yes, anyways, if you guys want this, it is totally free 99. Free 99. Down in the description. Um, and before we go, I'm just going to touch on uh, how you guys can actually support our channel. Um, the biggest thing that it will help our channel is uh, our Patreon. So if you guys didn't know already, all you noobs out there, all you new sub and wubbers, we have a great Patreon channel where we actually give away project files, we give away racks, mm -hmm. we give away samples, mm -hmm. we give away a ton of stuff. So uh, we have a really cool uh, tier called the YouTube Legacy tier. And if you guys join this tier, you guys actually will get every project file that we've ever done on our YouTube. That it goes back to, I mean, probably 2018. Two, yeah. yeah, 2018, which is. And we're updating more, too, from the yeah. older shit. Slowly, there's like little surprises like every month. So um, if you guys want to support the channel and you guys want to get some really, really cool sounds um, and content, please go to our Patreon. Go check it out. Become a member. Check out all the tiers. There's a VIP tier. There's a mystery loot tier. There's like tons of really, really cool stuff on there. Um, and it really helps us out. We got some new cameras because of you guys. Yes, thank you. We got you. some new software. Like you guys are awesome. And we love all of you. And thank you guys well, so I guess much now for the we support. Can, now we can, we can do our first thing where these people right here, uh, here, here what are you screen. i have no idea what they're you're gonna pop about. up on the screen oh they're, yeah they're we could do it. the fucking the, so the little left hand on the left thing. hand side and what you'll see is fucking. you'll see all the 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 older patrons that we're going back and shouting out yeah and then on the right hand side you're going to be able and see all the new patrons that just joined exactly and then at the top left corner you will see a small tinkerbell resting on my hand yeah, dude, and you might see some <laughs> SoundCloud links, dude. You yeah, know, you might know. see your SoundCloud link. A you Tinker might see Bell. a fucking lightly resting eggplant emoji. Diego, on you Danny's better face. fucking edit this. So let's play this out, you guys. Um, I'm gonna leave our little vocal chop in there, um, and thanks again for watching. Thank you, guys. See you guys next time. I wish a motherfucker.